What's going on guys, Sensei here. So I'm here to announce that yes, I am fighting in the cage. I know I talked about it a little bit in my last video, training with Dennis Bermudez, but I just got the kind of promotion picture and I'm really excited. So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, and kind of bring you guys into my mindset and uh, why I want to compete and why I want to get into the cage and compete in MMA. Funny thing is I actually don't like fighting. I'm a very non-confrontational person. I don't like the aggression aspect of like people arguing and fighting and so forth. Um, I don't like really, I'm not like someone who likes hitting people. I didn't get into fights as a kid. I always like avoiding them. I don't like to get into arguments and stuff like that. So I'm not that type of aggressive type person. I wouldn't call myself um, a fighter in in terms of, you know, liking to punch people or kick people and get into fist fights. That's not really my thing. But on the other hand, I've been doing martial arts my entire life. I have a karate background, huge love for martial arts. My father is a black belt. My whole family is black belts. So it's a big aspect of my life, and I really enjoy like watching mixed martial arts competitions. I didn't really like doing karate tournaments growing up. My father grew up a boxer, and then went into karate and different and learned many different combative arts, um, Muay Thai and so forth, Taekwondo, um, so on and so on. For me, I didn't like the point karate because I didn't like the 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 concept of just trying to score one point on somebody and then the situation or the altercation like stops. You know what I mean? Um, I always felt like, man, you know, you might not score that point, but but then again, I wasn't into wanting to fight the person. So it was just one of those weird things. And uh, I'm kind of, the reason I like the idea around competing in mixed martial arts is because that it's mixed martial arts. It's not just one style. And it really challenges me as a complete martial artist, or as we say in our school, a true martial artist. I have no ego. I'm a very humble person. That's what I like to believe. Um, but then again, I really want to go out there and do my best and see my skills and, and compete. And see where my let see where my skills are and see my reaction, my timing, and so forth. It's not about fighting somebody else. It's not about beating up somebody else. Honestly, I would love to be able to do this, um, <laughs> like almost like a video game, and hit like restart and not have to hurt somebody, um, you know, in the process. But it's just what it is. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm used to playing sports. I'm not, I don't really care about getting hit. I'm fine with getting hit. I'm not somebody that's uncomfortable with getting hit by hard shots. It's been part of my life. So it's just a part of the game. It's a part of the sport. And it's part of the competition. The training that I'm doing now is so exciting. Like, I've never trained this hard. Like, I've grown so much as a martial artist because of the challenge and the goal in front of me. Now, I have this thing in front of me, and it makes it so much easier to train and work hard on things. Like, I wouldn't be training this hard if I was just trying to work on my martial arts because there isn't, like, this level of competition where you're about to get in a cage with these, like, four, three-ounce, whatever, gloves, and you're about to go full contact. You know what I mean? So, it puts you in a different mindset, and it helps you prepare and the result is you get to become a better martial artist. So I'm really excited about this. It's coming up soon. Most of the phase guys are going to be there. So I know I'm actually going to have Rain as my corner man. Quick story about that. The reason I'm going to have Rain as my corner man is because when I like to compete or if I got like a martial arts competition, I've been doing martial arts for a long time. I like to think that I know a lot about martial arts. And I can pretty much understand that if I'm in a competition, I'm not doing well with something. Um... I know what it is. I don't really need need somebody to give me some technical advice at this level. I mean, if it was at a UFC or a pro competition, we're, we're pretty much beginners at this level. So if I'm making mistakes or messing up, it's going to be pretty basic mistakes, pretty beginner stuff. Um, and when I go back to my corner, I like, I like feeling relaxed. I don't want to be overly like about that. I want to be relaxed and keep everything loose and keep my mind fresh and sharp. And I thought Rain would be the perfect person, um, you know, after a round one, no matter if it goes my way or the my opponent's way, I would like to have somebody like that where Rain comes into my corner, completely unbiased in martial arts, not looking to coach me, but just like to be there, um, to be a smiling face and just to be cool to see him and to keep my mind fresh instead of so, you know, anxious because my adrenaline is going to be pumping. So the promoter um, and the owner of the organization is going to allow me to record, but he's also going to give me the in cage footage as well that they have. So I'm going to be able to, you know, put this whole experience of before the competition, but uh, leading up to the fight the day of, you know, walking into the, you know, cage. And then I'm seeing a rank and vlog during it, during the rounds, maybe. Um, that might be impossible. But regardless, and it's kind of, I'm really excited to be able to bring this competition and bring this atmosphere and share it on this platform on YouTube in, instead of just like within myself. Because I competed before five years ago and I had to cut weight from to 155. And I walk around around like 175 to 180. And I'm not, not looking to do that again. That's, probably, that's pretty much the main reason I haven't competed again. Because I didn't want to cut another 20 pounds um, to get into the cage again. I just I don't want to do that. 
So I was like, you know what? I'm only going to compete at 170. I'm excited to do this, and this is cool with the YouTube opportunity. And all you guys who watch my videos and so forth and have come with me along this journey and phase and, and, and stuff like that. And it's just a new you know, chapter that I can get in, go and compete and share it. I think that's really, really cool, and I'm really excited to do that. So, yes. So August 5th, I'm going to be competing at um, Combat Zone in New Hampshire. Um, look out for the footage. Um, look out for the video. And wish me luck. And I'll see you guys in the next video.